And what I'd like to start off with is if you can tell us a little bit, a little bit, a little bit about your school and about why you came onto the program and also for you why you came onto the program. I was recruited by my next door neighbor to what I mean, the principal. And having invited me, she had the knowledge about what was happening in PFP. Then I asked her some questions and she responded. So we started together as a PT on the way. She happened to have no commitments done honoring the PFP program. But what, what, what makes me happy is that I am still in PFP. And colleagues, I'd like you to indicate that the school was founded in 1962. And of late, uh, the new president, Sarah uh, Ramatosa, that's the school where he votes. So that is the president's school. And so far, since my arrival in 2016, the school enrollment has gone higher and higher. And today, one of the delegates I came with is uh, the teacher, the principal number one, and it's how he plotted to the principal number two. The school is doing well, hence, if we're having more building, we could be having more enrollment. So far, that's what I can say about the school. The school is found in Shawelo, Soweto. Thank you, Dina. Uh, my name is Thabo. Uh, I work with First Rent. Uh, I got involved with the Partners for Possibilities through a colleague. Uh, I run a program for shoe boxes where we wrap boxes and gift uh, to disadvantaged uh, young kids, more or less around this time. So this colleague was uh, in this program. Uh, we are having a very informal chat about what he does. And he informed me about the, and coincidentally he had just invited some principals into the office as well. So I got intrigued by that. And also, I think more importantly, because uh, education, I think is closest to, to my heart. I was going to I would probably be a teacher. Okay, so um, I think this partnership also struggled for, for a little bit. And, um, and it's so wonderful to see you guys here together, you know, back and, and strong in, in your partnership. Um, but so, yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit later. I just want to do... So, so Busa, you kind of also went ahead and just used what you were what you were learning, um, and you did a wonderful thing that you said is the first uh, in, in in the schools in your area. Tell us about that. Through the time to think workshop, together with the SMT, the SGB, and the educators, for the first time in the history of that school and possibly around Shawelo, we managed to have an outing during August whereby we took the whole SMT, part of the SGP members and some educators to go and review the vision and the mission of the school. Principals can attest to me that most of the vision and the mission and most of the policies are there in our, uh, our cupboards or our, our tables being formulated by the principal himself or herself. So having uh, went through time to think, then I started to, to sell this idea to the SMT and also to the SGP. Then we went on to request for donations and then the outing was funded and wow, what a good experience. Starting with the vision and the mission of the school but getting the buy-ins from the SMT members. That's where, you know, I saw that undermining a person, it's not good. Because if a person can be given a platform to, to think aloud, uh, people are so dangerous. I'm with my teacher, the principal here. She's, she's the one who said, I wanted to retire. But in the way, the principal, because she took us out, I feel like my years can be added more and more because I like this outing because we're given a platform to come with our ideas and the policies which we review the mission and the vision, the internal work school self-evaluation, the, the, the SSE and the uh, school improvement plans. You go to any SGB member, you go to any S, uh, uh, SGB member, uh, any educator was there, they, they will tell you the content of all the policies that were saving. And this happened through 
the time to think workshop through PFP. We hope this is going to continue even next year when it comes to strategic planning. It's a pity my partner was engaged and invited him to go with us there. So but that's a wonderful experience in the history of our school that is going to appear and it means we say no to PFP. A bit about what the coaching and triad sessions meant for you and then if you can also just continue a bit about um, the observing in the classes and some of the meetings. So I think you alluded to some of the challenges that we had, me and my partner, uh, in the treasury space where I work at the uh, often a challenge to get the time and my intention was to always make time to be at the school. Uh, part of it is to learn the ecosystem of the school, uh, the key challenges, uh, instead of inviting the principal and the SMT to my school. I uh, actually recall the discussion I had with the, our head of volunteer program uh, in the office, saying, Tabo, are you sure? <laughs> this is going to require a lot of time. And indeed, it required a lot of time. And Fast forward, I uh, found myself in the triad with you, uh, bemoaning the lack of time and the scarcity of time, and also in our engagement with my partner as well, having to really plead with him to please give us a chance. Uh, we mustn't quit the relationship because the intention was to really be part of this program, seeing the value of it in the community in South Africa and also personal development uh, from a leadership perspective. And those tribe sessions and the COP sessions, the ones that I was able to attend, were very invaluable because you would see some of the lessons, not from a theory perspective, but you would see the embodiment of those uh, experiences. Uh, things like uh, learning, learning to listen and empathetically so, and without any interruption or without having formulating answers on what you are going to say and being present as well, creating the environment for the other party to engage. Those are the things that perhaps you can learn in the classroom, but I think they become more evident and meaningful when you observe in the sessions that we use here. So the sessions have been quite valuable, I think more on a personal level, but also I think on the partnership that we have. Because, I mean, we couldn't believe that we're in November already, uh, the time flew by so quickly and we haven't rolled out some of the plans that we have. And I'm sure the relationship will continue into the years ahead as well.